Hey, it's me again. Um, I So I did a video on my like really basic skincare for uh, winter. And now I'm just gonna talk to you briefly about what I've been wearing on my face for every day. Um, and again, winter. So when I think winter, I think very hydrating care, um, very simple because a lot of times, you know, you're outside, the wind's blowing in your face, you've got sleet, you've got snow, you just, it's just, it's just not ideal to be wearing a ton of makeup unless you're going out somewhere or going to a holiday party. So just want to talk about a couple items I've been using that have really kind of been rocking my world and I've been using them every day and I haven't been switching, which is very odd for me because usually I switch up um, quite often. So my two favorite um, kind of primer bases before I put on anything, anything else um, are both by Olay and I've alternated between both of them. Uh, one is the Olay Total Effects 7 CC Tone Correcting Moisturizer with Sunscreen. It's got SPF 15 in it. And I like this because it, it does correct, honestly. Like I, I have a lot of redness and some kind of greenish, darkish tones and things under my eyes that need to be covered. And this is a very good way. Like I don't think I'd ever wear this by its on its own because it's not enough coverage for me, but I like it enough that I can use it as a base. When my skin's misbehaving, like it is right now, um, I will use the Olay Total Effect 7 CC Cream Pore Minimizing CC Cream in light to medium. Um, and same type of thing, like this is more, you know, uh, a little bit more matte than, than this is, you get, this is kind of dewy, hydrating. Um, this does the tone correcting. This is more mattifying, still a good base. It's still tinted. Uh, so that makes my next step kind of blend better. So what I've been using on my face instead of foundation, which is shocking, is this Face Stockholm Tinted Mineral Moisturizer with SPF 20. I don't hear a lot of people talk about Face Stockholm, and I think the problem, or the reason why it's not a problem, is that it's hard to find. Um, you can get it online, but my sister actually turned me on to Face Stockholm because she lives in a small town in upstate New York, and they actually have a freestanding Face Stockholm shop or boutique in her town. So last time I was there um, was for her, oh my gosh, I think it was for her graduation um, and she marched me past that store and of course I got sucked right in and this was one of the products that I bought and I bought it and it was during the summer that's when she graduated well May and um, I bought it used it a couple times and then put it away and only recently pulled it out again and really 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 am loving it um, it's got a a bit more coverage than your average tinted moisturizer and I think that helps me a lot but the color um, is just dead on for me and I, I actually have just been wearing it in conjunction with one of these products and getting away with it <laughs> as my foundation and when I'm not using that and I want just a bit more coverage I go back to one of my absolute favorite products and Marcel and Annabelle will be getting their own video because they have a whole bunch of stuff that I'm just in love with. But I have to mention this because I have been using it. I don't know if this is my second or third bottle of this stuff, but it is absolutely amazing. It's the CC Cream from Marcel with SPF 35 Complete Correction. Reduces the appearance of dark spots. I know they came out with this in a golden glow and I've used that one, but I always tend to go back to this one. Absolutely love it. Definitely more coverage than the tinted moisturizer. This is what I use um, when I had my work holiday lunch on Friday. Um, it it's beautiful. It's just it's it's just I don't even know. I Mar when Marcel came out with their BB cream, I was impressed. They came out with this, I was over the moon. DD cream, I'm still I'm I'm okay with it. But when I reach for something that's Marcel out of BB, CC, and DD, I go to my CC. So it's good. To set all that, I have also been reaching for my Skin 79 Sun Protect 
uh, SPF 30 BB pressed powder. Now, I'm not a pressed powder user because I have oily skin, so I tend to use loose powder, but this is really great. And the only place that I use this is in my T-zone, just right here, just mattify. I take, I use it with a brush. I don't use it with um, the sponge because that's just bacteria laden and we all know I won't wash it. So <laughs> I do that, I'll wash my brush. Um, and it, it's, it's like magical for me. The combination, just magical. The blush that I've been absolutely um, crazy over <laughs> is by CoverGirl and it's Brick Rose. And I know I've spoken about this before, but this is just the perfect everyday blush. It, it just is. And I really don't know what else to say about it. It's got a nice amount of shimmer in it, um, but it's not too heavy. It does what it needs to do. Like you can see it, but it's not like I'm like, you know, a clown. Like it's just, it's, it's perfect. And I honestly think that it really, the color of it will really suit any, almost any skin tone, except if you're, you know, very tan or very dark skinned, it might not work as well for you because it might not show up. But um, for most skin tones, it's a beautiful color. Beautiful. Dad, where is my, oh, there it is. I should have talked about this earlier. Another Olay, uh, seven in one total effects a product I'm loving is my CC eye brightening cream. Now, unfortunately, my only issue with this, and I know that they make this in a pen, is that it's in a pot. And I'm not a big fan of taking anything with me like to work where I have to stick my finger in it and, and dab. Like I, if I'm gonna do that, it's staying at home. So a lot of times I'll use this as kind of my base for my actual concealer that I put on afterwards. But it does really work. It does brighten quite well. It's beautiful um, in terms of texture. It's nice and smooth. You don't have to worry about it caking up or sitting in lines. It's wonderful. So I'll use that first and then I will go for my NARS uh, Very Creamy Concealer in Vanilla and put that over top and because I use this first, I need very little of this, which is good because this is expensive. And then finally, the finishing touches, um, again, this is like $3 product, is my Appalicious uh, Glossy Lip Balm in Big Apple Red. Now I was using Apple Blueberry Pie a lot. I switched to this. And as you can see, I have been using this. It is like completely worn down. Um, this is what I have on right now. I mean, it's a balm, people. Look at the color that you get. And this is $3. There's a lot of shades, a lot of different shades. My only advice with these is pick something that's a little darker than what you would normally wear because it is a balm. So if you pick something very light, it's not gonna show up. But this is an amazing product. Um, I'm very, very happy with it. It's incredibly hydrating. It goes on the lips really nicely, doesn't settle. It is a balm. It's not gonna perform like a lipstick. So if you're looking for something long wearing, that isn't this, but for every day, it's perfect. So tell me what you're wearing every day. Is, do you have like a more complex routine than I do? What are you focusing on for your winter makeup? Do you change it up? Do you leave it? What are you doing? Let me know. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.